Meghavali from Vedamal Institute of Technology and I am presenting my innovative idea. It is based on biomedical. It is tra tracking sensor for coma patient. Already we have heard that prevention is better than cure. My idea relates to this. Due to the rapid popularization and increased use of mobile, we have proposed a health monitoring management system and an abnormality reporting system. We can increase the comfort of our life by using these advanced technologies. In this idea, we are employing a portable portable monitoring system which is combined along with the mobile phone. It just serves as a record. It, mo it monitors us completely and it gives a daily update to the mobile phones. When it is determined that abnormality is detected and the microcomputer in the accessory immediately sends the information and it just pass the information to the mobile terminal. The components employed here is sensors, monitoring device, mobile terminal and GSM module. The sensors. <laughs> The sensor used here is SQID sensor that is a superconductive quantum interface device which is placed in the inner surface of the screen. The human body constitutes of nerves, cells, muscles which stimulate, when stimulus is added it generates electricity. When the electric, electricity is generated which is called as action potential it is measured by using SQID sensor. Within a short period of time it detects the abnormality and sends the message to the mobile terminal. The SQID sensor is placed under the skin or it can be placed in the pendant of the patient. It depends upon our comfort. Here the monitoring system. The output from the SQID sensor is, is measured by, use, by using the monitoring system. The monitoring system consists of a monitoring system is just nothing but a sensor which is placed at the patient's shirt. It converts the action potential into the digital data and arranges them into the chrono chronological order. The data determining section is Data, data determining section determines whether the data is normal or abnormal. If it detects the data is abnormal, it just transfers the information to the transmitting device. The transmitting device checks the information and it just transmits the information to the mobile terminal. Here the mobile terminal. The application that is required for, main, for processing the sensor output is combined along with the RAM and ROM of the mobile. It serves as a data book for maintaining the daily records of their health condition. When the signal that is received from the sensor is first given to the data accumulation center, data accumulation section, which is nothing but a permanent storage of your data. Then it is given to the data determining section. The data determining section determines the type of data, whether it is a wave or it is just a report. Then it is passed to the detected section, detecting section. The detecting section, it passed the data to the pattern analyzing section. Pattern analyzing section just Analyze the pattern of your abnormal signal with your normal signal. If the abnormal signal is detected, it just pass the information that is a case of emergency to the mobile terminal. It is just a layout with a person having SQID sensor and, it's, and his current condition is monitored by using a mobile phone. Here I have just shown a flow chart. Here the trend data converting, sec uh, converting section. This data converting section converts the data according to the accumulation section. Then the data goes to accumulation section, which is nothing but a permanent storage of your data. From accumulation section, it is passed to the determination, determining section, which determines the type of data. From that, it is given to the pattern analyzing section, where the pattern of the data is analyzed. If there is an abnormal signal is detected, it just gives the information to the transmitting section. Transmitting section will give the information to the predefined number, which I have just given in the module. It sends the message automatically to the, automatically to the number and it informs that there is a case of emergency. And this, pro this project can be enhanced by using GSM. We know that GSM is a global system for mobile communication which is used to monitor the patients from far away. This is just a layout by using GSM. This is for then for coma patients, we can monitor the coma patients. Bec the person who, who, who reaches coma patient, their blood, nerves, everything gets clotted. So, uh, by using this sensor, by using their movement of their blood, blood circulation, we can transmit, every, we can just receive every information, including their blood pressure, etc. And uh, for, uh, by fitting a pressure sensor under their, bed, uh, under their bed, even their pressure, their body temperature, everything can be monitored. And by placing a webcam or something, a, a sensor at the top of the roof, even their movements can be monitored. If they return back to their normal position, the message will be sent to the predefined number that they have been recovered. Or if they, are, uh, if they are in need of emergency, the message will be sent to the module. There is a case of emergency. This can be implemented for even a sugar, uh, diabetes patient. The same thing, by placing this module, we can just, ma we can just maintain their uh, sugar, sugar level or blood glucose level is 
pass to their mobile terminal with that they can just check up uh, even they do not go do not they do not have the necessity to meet the doctor often with that itself they can manage their insulin level their food control everything can be brought by them by this uh, i can conclude that in this present technology uh, this is somewhat affordable which reduces our time we don't we don't want to go to doctor get token we have to wait to see him this uh, this reduces that thank you